What's up, movie people? Welcome to Movie of the Year, Bodhi Edition, comma, period, ellipses, um, dot, dot, dot. Is that ellipses? That's something that I mentioned, probably. Um, Oscar Draft 2023. If you can't tell from that flawless introduction, my name is Cassie. I will be the host of this episode. You're in for a treat. Um, I hosted this last year. I got some notes. Um, basically, coming down to, I didn't explain what the episode was. I didn't introduce the premise, so allow me to do that right now. Um, This is best of the year. We're determining the best things of every year. Oscar draft, we have gathered, and we're all going to try to get the most Oscar nominations by picking a movie one by one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. I got a yeah from one person, and that's all I need. (laughs) I'm going to move right on. Um... So, yeah, we're gonna, just going to start this. Let me introduce the people one by one. Um, starting it off, Caitlin, yeah. welcome. This is your first Oscar draft. Yeah. And, and I'm the person who says yeah all the time, too. Yes. That's <laughs> the me little high. John of the group. <laughs> 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 what? But, like, everyone needs on. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Caitlin, quick question for you. Yeah. What does Oscar mean to you? Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, it's, a, you know, that big shiny guy that's always behind you. Um, he's haunting you. Behind you. He's behind you. That's Slender Man. I think yeah. you're thinking of Slender Man. Yeah. Shit, I'm totally wrong. Um, I actually don't know who Oscar is. Okay. An okay. insurance company? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. We're here for an insurance company. Um, do you have any game plan going into this? Win. Great. Love to hear it. Love to hear that report. Crush everyone oh two two t- strategies yep I'm win and crush win and crush all right i'm like an ice machine <laughs> all right greg um, yo 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 welcome to the draft uh hell what yes is, what does draft mean to you what does draft mean to me uh for me i'm focusing on not coming in last okay which is it's sort of a tradition i come in last place every year and I Greg, have I'm gotten, here, so don't worry. I've gotten <laughs> less into that. No, you would you would think <laughs> <laughs> nobody can beat me at losing at this. Uh, my number one goal, what draft means to me, is my number one goal is don't draft any zeros. I'm looking for all heroes, yes. no Ooh. zeros. Every year I draft one or more zeros. <laughs> all and let me tell you, it's hard not to come in last place <laughs> when you are drafting like multiple zeros. So I have a bit of a fuzzy memory. Uh, you weren't last last year, were you? I was. I guess I was not technically last last then year. I that's was. a fucking W, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking but I also did. didn't win. I mean, I think I might have been second to last. That so. still, still counts. That's yeah. still a win. Uh, we also have Mike here. Mike, welcome. If you're not last, you're first. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's the beta male mindset right there. It is baffling to me. One, it's booty around these parts, not Bodie. What the fuck is a Bodie? It's booty, best There's of the not year. Two O's. Uh, so it's one long <laughs> part. We like to booty. Uh, it's the science and the screaming. It's still a movie of the year, God damn it, Cassie. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I need all that introduction? I thought yeah, once maybe, I came maybe, on, maybe it was like, like oh, oh, already I don't know what There's this already. voice is, and now I don't know what this show is. I, listen, well, now you provided the screaming. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. We're waiting on the science. <laughs> and in case people didn't know from that, the notes did come from Mike last year that I was trying to correct. <laughs> yeah, people, except I think for uh, end of the year shows, for all the booties, uh, Mike on a normal show is very different than Mike off air. <laughs> I think I, my persona and my me are most different apart. Mike off air is like, explain the premise of the show before you start the show. That's so, man. Give me a break, I have dude. pocket protectors. I have the beakers. I am, <laughs> off air, I'm the science. On air, I'm the screaming. Um, important question for you, Mike. What does snake order mean to you? Um, <laughs> snake order, <laughs> a.k.a. serpentine. <laughs> okay. It means oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> if there's, I don't know, off the top of my head, uh, six people, the order would be one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. What? No, wait, no, six, no, twice. No, six, six twice. Six twice. <laughs> I fucked up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. This was a very needed question. <laughs> if you get last pick in the draft, you also only get one pick. <laughs> no, no, no. You, that that means you, you get to double tap. You get to double tap it. It's all cleared up for me now. Thank you so much for your help. It's Mc- so weird. We were like, Cassie, do you want to talk about the show before we start recording? Went, nah, I'm great. I guess it means we'll do it on air. Yeah, this is what the content that people want. This is like behind the scenes. Oh, no, maybe we don't do don't Patreon know. anymore, so you're bringing the Patreon bring to here. the people. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I care about the people. Um, but if you hear this, you owe us a dollar. <laughs> just, like, just because we don't have the Patreon anymore doesn't mean. Well, I'll read our Venmo. <laughs> uh, we also have books here, aka McKenna. Yeah. Um, how's it going? I'm. I'm feeling good. I'm still riding on the high. 
Of oh. what, McKenna? Of <laughs> oh, 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 what? <laughs> and honestly, that is like a prize that it doesn't matter where I place this year. I still beat Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> By a fucking lot. <laughs> For people jumping in on this one, McKenna came on last year. Her only goal was to destroy Ryan. And she's the only one to have done it. So her wow. life is complete now. Ever. Ever. Yeah. The ever. only one ever, yeah. In years. <laughs> Ryan loves that, too. He loves that he's been beat. I honestly thought it was going to be sabotaged, but hold right here. I was waiting for, like, some hitman to drive me off the road. <laughs> I was like, Ryan's going to stop me from getting Ryan here. wins by default. <laughs> Speaking of Ryan, let's bring the man on himself. Ryan, how are you doing? Oh, am I on the show? You're oh, on gee. The show. Thank you for bringing me on. Uh, yeah, last year was... Uh, I don't know. Not really one of our te- technically not one of our Oscar drafts. Um, <laughs> we are uh, we are still looking for votes in Georgia to see if that uh, was one of our drafts. Uh, McKenna cheated. Uh, we did have locusts. Um, there was stuff where um, she did jump ahead in line. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm, so we all saw that. The machines we were using to log our drafts were by Dominion. Right. Yeah. She had this big briefcase just full of Oscars yeah. that she pulled up from <laughs> under the table. And those Oscars were just on her team already? That seems and sus. Then Ryan just kept tweeting out her address the rest of the year, which that didn't bother <laughs> me. <laughs> Uh, I just, yeah, just docs, docs, docs. That's what I tried to do. Uh, but no, uh, this year we have gone back to counting this show. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is a so real we one. took a year off and now we're back, baby. We are back better than ever. Let's do this. Uh, uh, once we get the results of yes. the draft order, yeah. we will figure out whether or not this show counts. I was going to say, it's a little early to determine if you right. want to count this one. Uh, but speaking of draft order, let me go ahead and set that right now. Oh wow. my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm Cassie, Cassie, real quick, is the first name you give me, uh, is that sixth pick or first pick? Do yeah, you want to give going, me six pick ooh. first? Oh, I can give you six pick Because wouldn't that be more dramatic? That is definitely more dramatic. This Question, person- Cassie, did he see the order first <laughs> when he said six pick? He did not. Okay. Our six pick is Greg. Oh, fudge. Okay, here's my only thing. If you're if you're not going to be in the top this is so difficult. If you're not going to be in the top 2 or 3, maybe you want to be a little bit lower cuz you're doing some damage in those mi- those the, the middle of it. Our I winner won. last year. Last won. year as 6 from the bottom. That's true. This That's... is a fully different year with different movies. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> this, this, nah. This I'm voting Green Book right away. <laughs> this is a what year is that? I consider this a rough draw for the old Gregster, especially in my plan to not come in last place. Yeah, it's it's a rough go. I yeah. sincerely apologize. Um coming up fifth, we do have McKenna aka Books. Ooh. Oh, fix the fix is in. <laughs> Uh, next and fourth, we got Mike. Woo. I'm neutral on that. Okay. Right. Here, this is fun. where it's starting to get big. Um, Caitlin, you are in third. Holy shit. Okay. Yes. Oh, Holy shit. shit. Yes. Oh, man. Skirt, skirt. I am in second. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Bunk, redraw. This is a year that <laughs> counts. Redraw. This is a year that counts. Cassie. This is a year. No? It was supposed to be the other way around. No, It was dude. supposed to be the other way. I just couldn't lie. <laughs> that means Ryan is first. Oh, he is wow. Overjoyed about it. Um, we're going to see what happens when we start off our draft picks coming up next. All right, let's start this off. Ryan, you are our first one. What movie are you picking? Uh, Cassie, honestly, I wanted at least second. Like, uh, so now you're complaining about getting first? No, I will always fucking complain, okay, Cassie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's make that shit clear. Um, because I don't know. I think I'm going to... My heart says one thing, but my brain says that I'm going to take the Oppie attack. Is that the D&D? Oh, yeah. Right. Opportunity okay, attack. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be something else with the most. I think there's a movie that will get more than this, but I'm going to go with Oppenheimer first pick. Okay, interesting. Now, what is the game plan there when you think there's a, one that's going to get more? Well, this is the safer pick. Oh, okay. So uh, there's a movie that I think could get more but could get less. This okay. is the safest pick. All right. Um, so I'm going to leave that one for you. 
I think I might be taking that one. I don't know for you sure. You should. <laughs> if it's the one that I'm thinking of or not. Leave it on the table. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You <laughs> don't want to get caught like up this. in that because there's Maybe. a reason he didn't pick yeah. it. Yeah, get it next time. Yeah, yeah. he That's must have known I, something. I have no fucking friends here. I'm picking Barbie. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought I was going to get Barbie. <laughs> now, Cassie, you did leave it for Caitlin. Yeah. But. Mm-hmm. I pre- that was probably my number three. Oh, that was not the one. That was not the one. Ding. Yeah. Well, I wanted the pretty fun pink one. So yes, that's and my you got game Barbie plan. for sure. I nailed that. Caitlin, what are you picking? God, it's between two right now, and uh, I'm going to give Killers of Flower Moon. Yes. Yes, yes. that is the right Whoa. answer. <laughs> that was the right Whoa. one. <laughs> take, take it from last place, Greg. That's the one you wanted. Clearly a Caitlin favorite. She's seen it dozens of times. Oh, my god. Killers of Flower Moon? K's for Killers. <laughs> Honestly, what a fun movie. It's so right? fun. Our, it really zips by. Our, our country has such a fun history. Uh, Very so good cool. movie. I know everything about this movie. I would love for this to be the movie of the year. I don't think it will be. But uh, yeah, this was the one that I think could get 14 nominations or seven. Oh. So I just I think I took like the 10 with Oppenheimer. Yeah. But Caitlin could definitely pass. Because you could literally get every single one with Oppenheimer that, you know, it's not going to be a short animated feature. But like right. every we'll every see. one it could contend for, I think it's probably going to get a nomination for. It was such a big movie. But Killers of the Flower Moon feels more important. So the big question now is, are we done with the biggies? Or yes. could Mike get one now? No, that's the end of tier one. Wow. Is it? I feel like there might be a couple. I feel like in there's this like tier. one more at least. I want. Well, uh, I think that is 100 percent the end of tier one. I think we're getting into a nice, robust tier two here. But pretty much, I think that's the we end of tier, tier one. So hard then. <laughs> Here's what I love about being fourth. Now that I've realized I can't change it and I will be fourth, so now I'm like, it's actually the best pick. Uh, <laughs> I get to pick with my head and my heart together on this one. Damn the combo because mutant mayhem. It's it's mutant mayhem. TMNT. Uh, uh, it's my favorite director who's like currently alive and doing cool, weird things, but the Oscars, they don't understand him, but not in a way that offends them. So they're like, yeah, we throw all the noms at him, I guess. It's poor things. Yeah. yeah. See, I think, honestly, I think this is, could be tier one. I think this is a two or 12. Oh, really? I, oh, I okay. But unfortunately, Mike, I didn't say it was your pick. I don't know if that one's going to go. Just kidding. Oh, it's going to oh. go. Oh, I was like, wait, you said my name. <laughs> It'll absolutely go. All right, that one, it sounds like a good one. I had that as a top tier one, but I don't know movies. I don't know if that makes you feel better. Next, we have McKenna. What is your pick? See, and I, I don't know movies. Last year, I got real lucky, uh, and I will totally admit that on my first pick. Hey, guys, um, uh, I have, like experts uh, on the podcast. <laughs> on it, please. I don't know about these things called movies. Movie? Am I saying that? I did look up a list of um, them. But yeah, I, I Googled uh, what a movie is. No, I'm going to go with one that I know is going to get like a solid couple. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That is not first round material. I know, man. okay. But I, I, get off my case. <laughs> I'm just following heart instead of logic here, and I'm going to run with it. And that's Spider-Man Across the Universe. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I think you're going to get a I, there's a two. Solid, I feel like no, I think it's more like four or five. Yeah, really? there's yeah. definitely a solid three that I would feel positive in, and I'm lucky if I get four. Here's what I'm wondering for Mac. Is it possible that she gets with an animated movie visual effects? I think so. I Has think that ever happened before? No, because I think they're old and they don't think about that as the same way, even though that's all an animated movie is. So could this be the first one when they're watching a... Because they go, that's crazy, that's, that guy's yeah. paper. <laughs> <laughs> How'd they do that? What? That is just Donald Glover. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting in the middle of an animated movie. I love. I would love that that's what gets it, is like an effect from bed knobs and broomsticks. Yeah. <laughs> that that, that no pushes it over the edge. No one has seen that before. All right, Greg, that leaves it down to you. What are you picking? Okay. So, Greg, I think right here, like, because you have the double tap, could you get, can you tie Oppenheimer with two movies? I, I, I don't know if that, if that makes it even, but I think I possibly could. I think I possibly could. Okay. Whew. All right, here we go. But I can't blow either of these picks, Ryan. That's the thing. Okay. So, um, one goose egg. This for is, old time's sake. Just for, just, just for funsies. All right, I'm going to go with uh, a movie that I saw and loved. It is called The Holdovers. Um, I think that is probably a, potentially a solid like six picks that I could get, a six Oscar noms there. Um, and then a movie I watched just today to get ready for the, the show, Maestro. Uh, about the the movie about Leonard Bernstein 
And is that who that's about? The guy from the R.E.M. song? Leonard Bernstein. <laughs> yes. And there's even a part where he's driving along and they they reference that. Uh, and there's a lot of like production design I think it might get. Uh, sound, mm-hmm. definitely. This movie's doing a lot of things with sound. But then I think you also might get the like, now that Best Picture is like 10 movies yeah. or whatever, I think you might get... A, a fringe Best Picture nom. I do think Bradley Cl- Cooper has been slowly crawling his way into, hey, Academy, yeah. look at Cooper? me. Did also, say, like, did he say Bradley Cooper? The, Cooper? Bradley Coops. Uh, also, like, if you look at the some of the names associated with this movie, it's like the producers are also like um, Spielberg mm. and... Um, I've heard of him. <laughs> uh, and somebody else whose name I can't remember. So I am hoping that between those two picks, I do get, like, the value of may- maybe 12. Maybe six a piece out of those. Because, like, uh, me and Cassie are going to get one or zero. That's true, right? Because, yeah, second when pick. you come back around, yeah. So, if you can match us, then, I like, you're in the game. And and can we talk about the holdovers? Because I do feel like everybody else's first round, at the world. if you're listening to this show, you know what all those movies were. Uh, what is the holdovers? Is that Alexander Payne? Mm-hmm. Holdovers, uh, Giamatti. Are, holdovers is, remember that part from... Um, from uh, Christmas Carol, where Scrooge stays at school over winter. Of course, this movie says what might that have been like for Scrooge to say the holdovers are the kids who like don't get taken <laughs> uh, on holiday break, and uh, it's like this private school in the seventies. Movie is highly seventies coded, mm. um, and uh, it's got a great performance by Paul Giamatti, who's like the crusty old professor who has to stay and watch these kids. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful movie. And in this time, uh, like in this like fall, winter uh, rush of awards movies, Greg, would you say it's absolutely hands down the most recommendable, like easy yes. to recommend movie? You 100%. Yeah. Like if you were to say to somebody like you should see Killers of the Fire Moon, you should see Killers of the Fire Moon. Like but it comes with some asterisks. <laughs> yeah. You know? it's a, because you should see it like in the same way that like it's like your duty as an American to go right. see this movie and like bear witness to this thing that happened. Uh, Holdovers has an element of that. I mean, it is about like, you know, the, the high cost of Vietnam, for instance, but it's about like beauty and interpersonal like connection and it's there are it's just very funny and heartwarming and it's it's like a christmas movie and it you feel very good so yeah but like if caitlin and her husband were like on a date night i'm not gonna get a text from caitlin at like 1 30 in the morning like what the fuck yeah why exactly. would you recommend this yeah shit? highly recommendable Asshole. is a great way to put it and then um i've seen like five minutes of that maestro movie. we kind of we kind of dug into um do we Greg already started his double tap. Yeah, but sorry we, about that. That's my fault. No, you got so you got excited. excited. <laughs> it's fine. I feel you. I didn't want to break it up because I you ha- we were in the flow zone. He went pop pop uh, pop pop. Um, but when we start back, we're going to start our snake round going the other way. Coming up right now. It's reverse snake time. Greg picked Maestro as his other one. Now let's go to McKenna AK Books. What are you picking as your second movie? I'm going to go with one that I uh, I think might give me a few. I don't know. I'll find out if it's a good choice or not once Ryan reacts, and that's American Fiction. I love it. Yeah, it's a great choice. <laughs> that's a very good pick. So, um, do you, does anybody know anything about this, this little film? Jeffrey Wright, right? Yeah, right. Right? Right? right. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, I mean, this is the classic thing of like, uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm a black author who's going to make a satire about what I think people like just make a joke about what people want to see from black characters and then they actually love it like bamboozled sort of bamboozled yes in the classic uh, sense of bamboozled and it is supposed to be at Jeffrey Wright I would love for him to get his due it's a jam packed actor best actor field but like uh, screenplay there's a lot of stuff going on with this movie. Good pick is Thank what I gather you. from that. All right, you now let's it. go on to Mike. Mike, what's your second one? Uh, I'm going to go with May, December. Uh, this Heck is yeah. uh, not Jodie Foster. I just frozen thought about Silence of the Lambs. Julianne Moore. Hannibal. Moore. Julianne Moore. Uh, and then Reggie 2. Reggie. From yeah. Riverdale. <laughs> and he's killing it. Who I he's would not have put money it. on him as from all the kids. My kids, I mean 35-year-olds. That he'd be the one to break into <laughs> like hardcore prestige acting. But it's basically... Uh, a loose, in quotes, uh, adaptation of Mary Kay Letourneau. Uh, she, it's a teacher who fucks her student, and they get married. And it is uh, about it's that. Under, season of Riverdale. I was going to say, yes. it. it's, it's, it's a little grosser. I think he was like 12. It's, a, it's, about, it's about a life built by the sunk cost fallacy. Yes. They just like keep doubling down. Like, no, this was good that we did this. Yeah, until they have like kids together and a whole life, and that deep 
crack that's in them from the mm-hmm. awful beginning of their relationship just doesn't go away. What are you saying? A twelve year old and twenty year old don't have much in common. Uh, I'm not saying that, but he says it at one point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, hold on, Greg is not saying that. Yeah, <laughs> Greg has other thoughts. But it's the cat who directed Carol and Velvet Goldmine. Uh, I think he does very well at these kinds of things, and it's yeah, it's yeah. Gonna... He is a master right. who definitely yeah. deserves. Todd Haynes uh, deserves his due, uh, but fucking Reggie, guys. Yeah, like... yeah. Fucking Reggie. That's a guaranteed nom right there. I hope nom nom so. nom. Caitlin, speaking of nom noms, what are you going? I'm gonna nom nom into a zone, and it's a zone of interest. Ooh, yes. Fuck, this is a great pick at this position. Ryan, would you say this is a great pick at this position? I love this movie. This is a great pick. It's international too, right? What it's is it about like... this Holocaust movie that you love so much? <laughs> Tell me what really <laughs> Yeah, really dive into it. <laughs> wow, guys, I did pick a good one, didn't I? Uh, uh. <laughs> yes, this is Jonathan Glazer, the guy who did Under the Skin. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. One of the best movies of the last uh, Ever? 10 years. Um, this is a movie about the Holocaust, but it's not. there's no Holocaust in it. Oh, okay. It's like uh, a bunch of that. security cameras. <laughs> In a home uh-huh. of people who go to work at the Holocaust and then come home, oh. and it's just they're, bu- yeah. they're building their like their dream home during the Holocaust, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, fucking, I'll follow Jonathan Glazer anywhere, but uh, this Not movie, yeah. I was gonna pick this one solely because of the standing ovation time it got. That's all I heard about. <laughs> it was a six-minute standing ovation at the Jeez. Cannes Festival. Oh, and yeah. I was like, that's the best yeah. way to judge movies, dude. <laughs> well, if I you do- can just ta- like add on to your con. Uh, standing ovation that is the way to do it yeah and don't you like this movie some of these movies like don't have the important like underline right. to them but this one does and so like that I think that gets you a little bit extra That's Caitlin exactly has why Killers I put, of the I... Flower Moon and Zone of Interest right now Swag. these yeah. are Caitlin what? movies I'm rooting yeah. for you to yeah. be honest She's I really want to take Ryan down but if anyone I does love... <laughs> these are the movies that I like to watch <laughs> she has the trading cards for all of these movies <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's now to me, and Caitlin took the one I was going to go with. Um, I have one pick that I feel like is smarter, but now I'm in this mood where it's just like, pick the movies that are you. I'm going Ferrari. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. What is it? Ferrari. Ferrari. Oh, she had an accent. I, I was like, what is Addy? <laughs> I heard Addy, too. I was like, is this a robot movie? It's just Ferrari. Um, I feel like it's maybe only got a couple noms in it, but we're here it's cars. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cassie, I've heard that this movie goes over and vroom, vroom. It goes over and vroom. Does it go round and round? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, any down? other questions? You might get you <laughs> might get sound special effects. Yeah. yeah. The loudies. As Adam Driver. Uh, Adam Patrick, Driver. Patrick Dempsey, right? Yeah, but I've heard he's terrible <gasps> in it. No, so. no. no. One of our best actors ever. <laughs> <laughs> How could that be? <laughs> Wait, is this one have both Adam Driver and Patrick Dempsey? It does. What? And does this? Movie have an Italian, uh, like fast driver, but uh, Super Mario go kart movie came out earlier in the year. Don't spoil my next pick. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All about the room rooms. All right, Ryan. Um, I hate to break to you. I took Ferrari. So what are you gonna get now? I have to uh, with my first of my double taps. Uh, I'm gonna go big and I'm gonna go bold and I'm gonna go with a movie that is doing this thing that um, the Greatest Showman did a couple Whoa. years ago which is just like uh, sort of slowly take over the nation. And it's a musical that uh, the Academy loves. The Color Purple mm. could just sort of kind of sweep in and take over a lot of noms. You know how musicals work. They have songs. That's an award. Uh, art direction. They might have multiple songs, they too. They might have multiple songs. What? Yeah. Most musicals have one top, what? right? But like, it might get nominations for multiple right, songs. Right. That's, a, that's a nice little bonus you can get. Ad- uh, adapted screenplay could be. Yep, there is a new sure. role. You can only enter three, and you can only get two nominated. Oh, okay. So, so okay. So you're uh, but best color, purple. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got it Scientifically, right. it is. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Color purple. All right, Great so choice. that's going to end off this round. They're feeling good about your pick. Uh, let's see what your second pick is when we come back. All right, let's start off the third round. Ryan, back to you. What is your third pick? Oh, my God, guys, another pick. <laughs> and the way you it? waited until after the break to make it, that was such a pro <laughs> move, man. I think a lot of so people So much control. That. I think you're a cuck. You, yeah. Greg <laughs> likes to double tap. You like to take your time. So. I <laughs> saw how the audience from Khan booed a standing boo for Greg for like <laughs> over nine minutes. So. Nine minutes. I just had to stand there. <laughs> it was so hard. I didn't want that to happen. Um, I have looked at my list and I legit think that there are six more movies that we could get, we could milk like a nomination or two out of. 
The fourth round is insane. But the third round, I think we can get it. The one that I think I'm going to go for right now, I think I can get actress, screenplay. I think I'm going to go anatomy of a fall here. You zigged on me. I thought you were building up to something else there. What was it, Greg? Well, I can't, I can't no, tell say. Because right right these can you tell me little me? greedy gusses would love hey, if I said it. Everybody take your headphones off, except for me and Greg. <laughs> what is this movie teaching you how to fall? Uh, yes. This is uh, one fail video, and you just watch it 70 <laughs> like, this times. This one's going to do good. This one. <laughs> uh, if the noms any like Cassie. <laughs> this is a uh, French court. And I don't know if you guys have seen a French court movie, but uh, French court does not work like American court does. It's just what? a bunch of people in the room being like, um, I don't think so. I don't think they did it. I don't think it worked like that. Where uh, this woman is accused of killing her husband, and she says she didn't do it. And so they just have to listen to her tell her story. Uh, that's the movie. So oh, All in one shot, I'm guessing? Yeah, one shot. <laughs> one take. Do not miss. And you like uh, I've heard to stop. different folks come away from the movie with different understandings yes. of like what they are. That's always fun. Yes. Like you're like, well, actually, here's what I think happened. And much like French Court, I guess you hash it out and then you just try to come to an understanding. Yes. At the beginning of the year, I saw a movie that took place in a French court called Saint Omer, where it was about a woman who uh, left her baby on the beach and walked away, and what should happen to her. And French Court's crazy, guys. Watch <laughs> French Court movies. How chill did that baby become, did though? Just like grow up on the beach. <laughs> Shot like the bra. Steel drums, so man. chill. Sunshades on all the time. Do you have, like, a Judge Judy of, like, the French Court? Or, like... There's some judges, I think. But, you know. They got, so got cool. no, those judges. They no got judges wigs. talking. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to try to redeem myself with my third pick after Ferrari. I'll try to get a couple more points. I'm going to pick Past Lives. Oh, oh this I think is a great pick. Yeah. This yeah. is the first time this has happened all night. It feels so good when it happens. Wow. I definitely know what this is about, but I would like to open the floor to anybody else. Oh, who I do. <laughs> I've seen Past Lives a couple times. It is, honestly, it's probably 2023's best movie. Like, I don't know if it's like as important as some of these other things we've talked about or whatever, like capital I important. Um, but it is so interesting. It's about these two kids who are like basically dating when they're 12. Uh, but then she's from, they're from Korea and then she moves with her family to the United States and doesn't, then they like don't talk for a while. Then they start talking again over Skype and then they stop because they like are not sure what their relationship is. They're like betwixt and between. Then um, she gets together with somebody, and then they come together again. These two characters, and it's about like all these different times in their relationship together, and what are they together? Um, and it's just so beautiful um, and so life affirming. Even though it's about like a very difficult situation in life, which is like near misses in relationships and feeling like committed to different people at different times like um it's still very life affirming and beautiful and wonderful and just like if kelly reichert movies are a little bit too slow or non-narrative for you yes but like <laughs> the whole sliding doors of it all like this movie is going to fucking rip your heart out in like the best way this is yeah if it wasn't for killers of the flower moon martin scorsese just like th this, these are the movies that i just eat up past lives is the best movie of the year the problem is because the Academy is weird. It came out in like March. And so we're counting on, but so did every, everywhere, everybody, every, everything everywhere all at once. Thank you. Uh, and it remembered that. Will right. it remember this? That's the question. And so this could be a zero for Cassie. Mm -hmm. It could be a five Let's in the third round. Let's hope for a five. Uh, but I think, I mean, honestly, I think you're looking at like screenplay, director, and actress at least. Greg's making me feel so good. I like to end it with, with what Greg says and not what Ryan says. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many fucking times I've heard that in my life? <laughs> um, let's move on to Caitlin. Caitlin, what is your third pick? Uh, my third pick is going to be a movie that I definitely have also heard of. Another third one that I really love. It's called mm. Society of the Snow. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Damn. That's what I thought when I heard it, you know? <laughs> Is Solid. Caitlin just getting banger after banger? Do you want to talk about All this, Caitlin? All I know how to do is bang. <laughs> <laughs> if, what do I want to talk about? Society of Snow? Yeah. Do you want to open this up to the floor? I, I, you know what? I will let you <laughs> talk about it. Out of the kindness of her heart, yep. she will. Mm -hmm. okay. This is about the Is this a, the, about the plane crash in the mountains and the soccer team? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and the... the Cannibalism. Did they turn ravenous? Ooh, yep. <laughs> uh, McKenna, do you remember last year who took All Quiet on the Western Front? I do not. 
Okay, because that one came out of nowhere right at the end of the year, and right. it was thrown on Netflix, and then just got like tons of noms, eight, eight nominations. And so this happened with this movie, which is like the movie Alive from when we were kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was about a bunch of white people, mm. four white people. This is about the actual mm. uh, for us by <laughs> us, right? <laughs> um, but and this is like detailed, very detailed, like two and a half, almost three hours. All of the grizzly details. Oh, okay. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, uh, folks, wow. eight. No, thank yeah. you. I Surprise, Caitlin was so excited Your about this one. No, she's a freak. <laughs> if you're a Yellow Jackets fan. I have the Holocaust and grizzly. I, a m- Moody no miniseries I'm pitching is uh, we all live record uh, watch-alongs with Caitlin's picks with her. Oh. She has to watch them, too. No. Caitlin, to watch any of these movies, Caitlin would absolutely need the Clockwork Orange lift oh my like, God. strap the oh eyelids God. up. Uh, this is J.A. Bayona, the guy who did, did like a Jurassic World movie, really? but also directed The Orphanage. Oh, wow. In my top five scariest movies of all time. Um, yeah, this movie's supposed to be, and if it probably came out too late, but it's possible that if it takes the All Quiet on the Western Front, front, uh, it could like get some noms. Wow. Great work, Caitlin. Thank you. I love movies. Oh, it's going to get noms because those soccer kids Caitlin, hate each other. You're building up a very strong <laughs> roster of picks. I play it was so Pokemon. dark and Caitlin is so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed, guys. <laughs> All right. That's going to take us to Mike next. Mike, what's your third pick? I think in, in this round, I'm going to go for an easy two. It's going to get two. It's not a bold or brave pick, but I know it'll get two, and I'm okay with that. Okay. It's called American Symphony. It's John Baptiste. Who is? It's a documentary, so it's going to get that. Uh, it's John Baptiste, who is um, which late night show is he the band leader for? One of them. One of uh, them. Fallon. Fallon. I think Fallon, and uh, it's one of these. Uh, is that the Roots guy? And this, no, that is. Oh, the Roots is Fallon. You're right. So John Baptiste is Kimmo. A different Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be one of the. It's one of the gyms. Um, his while making this documentary, he's trying to write a symphony. And then, uh, perfect for documentarians, not for John or his wife, she gets diagnosed with cancer. And so now the movie is about how do you uh, create something and focus on that while your partner is dying. Oh, God. Is there that part in the documentary where the documentarians are like, oh, that's terrible. And then they run in the corner. They're just they're high-fiving, like, high-fiving each other. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's going to get song because it's John Baptiste and it's going to get documentary. Well, yeah. I mean, like, documentary, obviously, but like, to have a movie be about writing a song and yes. then they finish the song. That, that's best song. Yeah, that's best dude. song, baby. <laughs> so, easy two. All right, she got it easy two. McKenna with your third one. What do you think you're getting? I'm hoping I'm going for a, a, an easy two maybe as well, but honestly just hoping for one. Um, I'm going to go with Saltburn. Ah, Yes. <laughs> Caitlin knows that one. Yeah, yes. Pass it to her. I heard it? a sigh. It's super up her alley. She loves Emerald Fennel. Emerald Fennel, <laughs> yep. right. Uh-huh. Barry Kagan. I yeah, it's got what? that guy it's like from thriller comedy. Oh yeah, uh-huh. definitely. Yeah, are you. I would talk about it, but I do want to have someone else talk about it because I've been Wait, talking too much. Has anybody seen the movie? I have yeah. seen it. No. What did you think? Um, it's like highly stylized in that Emerald Fennel way. Uh, I liked Promising Young Woman. And I felt like everybody liked Promising Woman. And then after a couple of years, it became clear, like, not everybody liked that movie. <laughs> uh, uh, but it it's wacky um, and not in, like, a people, like, slipping on banana peels type way. But uh, it's just, like, Classic wacky. it's not realism. And I think that if you go into it knowing that it is not that, then it's maybe more interesting. And I don't know about, like, the dynamics of, like, the message of the movie, but I'm not super concerned about that. I I enjoyed it i thought it was interesting i think you might have one in it um what would that be though barry for actor Uh, it was a book i think (laughs) hell yeah or maybe maybe, no maybe it wasn't some screenplay maybe i don't know it I'm was not a short film. I'm not sure. Just because it's bu- it's a buzzy movie, yeah. maybe. But um, I and think then he's a young guy who's on that list now. If he's in a movie, he's gonna unless it's for fucking Eternals, he's gonna get nominated. Oh, maybe him. Maybe best actor. His his character is very interesting in the movie. Like and and it's hard to figure out exactly what he's up to and what's going Could on. Could he be best supporting actor? Because best actor is so full up. Oh, I see what you're saying. Ooh, I think that would be tough. What about Alordi for best supporting actor? A lordy, Jacob Alordi, the very tall. Oh, the super tall guy from like Gran Turismo. He was really good in it. I think I think he potentially him and maybe um the the woman the Gone Girl 
Um, yes, I, Rosamund Pike. I've heard every line out of her mouth is genius. You, you want to kind of stand up and like go like oh after every line, not because <laughs> it's like such a good burn, salt burn, uh, but because it's like the weird. Like, you can't believe she just said that. There's one part where uh, I don't want to go into it, but uh, like <laughs> the the character is like so um, kind of like embraces her or like vapidity like the the her shallowness she but she's like so like present in it she just stands in it uh and in that way it's like kind of an an interesting interesting character actually mac i think that's your best thing like this thing that mike keeps saying about once you're nominated you're nominated for life i think rosamund pike is your best shot shot. it's also on a few potential lists for cinematography oh Oh, okay it's shot in a really interesting way yeah like rich people like watching rich people right yeah yeah this is why we all watch entourage like watching rich people people for different reasons but (laughs) all right so pretty good pick i think we determined on that one greg what is going to be your third okay uh, according to my projections, we are nearly out of movies that could p- potentially get multiple nominations. So um, the fir- the one I'm going to go with to end this round, and then I'm just going to get quiet, yeah. um, <laughs> is a, a movie. I another movie that I watched today. It's called Rustin. Okay. Uh, and uh, the ones I think this is going to get. It, this is about um, it, it was like a, a a mentor for a while to Martin Luther King, um, but and then like Junior? stayed. That that's the one, yeah, uh, <laughs> and stayed very active in the civil rights movement despite the fact that he was targeted for being a homosexual and like he was not like quietly gay. He was like, I'm a gay person, uh, and so anytime he did anything that someone disagreed with, they were like, this guy's gay, and that was like enough. Uh, but uh, he like was very um very real and very important, but kind of sl- maybe slightly forgotten. Uh, I think he's like the civil rights leader that we like celebrate maybe the least uh for how big his contribution was um and i think uh, the actor who played him who's the guy from fear the walking dead domingo coleman domingo coleman like shoe in for yeah. leading man uh nomination here's uh, the, here's what i've heard and there's an original song by lenny kravitz so i think i got two is it called rustin it's uh rustin. <laughs> i'm not sure but i hope so now um Here's where the the weird spot that the movie's in. Domingo Coleman is so fucking loved because he's so fucking like preternaturally good, right? That mm-hmm. voice, like the, oh, yeah. everything he's in, uh, so charismatic. We watch him on superhero in Fear the Walking Dead, and then he's um, uh, the like the mentor on Euphoria. Um, he it's just people think like, no, he's breaking through. Let's not reward him for such an average movie. Oh. Yeah, the, I do have to say, um, the movie almost at times feels a little like paint by numbers or something. Like um, it, it, there, there's a some sort of lack within the movie, but it's not around him, and there's not that many original songs out there to even nominate. And I think it's a nice way to recognize a movie about an important figure that I do think misses the mark. A little bit, but I think that it could still get a, a couple. He had a good year. He's also in the color purple and Transformers colon Rise of the Beasts. He's, he's the kind of actor where it's like, it feels like it wouldn't be that hard to be a casting director. It'd be yeah. like, well, could we get it's him Coleman? for this role? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, he's so good. There is one specific casting director who's doing that when they're trying to recast Jonathan Majors right now. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Get on that horn. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to go. All right, so that is going to be the end of our third round. When we come back, we're going to go to our final and fourth round, starting with Greg. All right, it is our final round, the fourth round. This is where we just pick up all the crumbs, you guys. Uh, Greg, what is the first crumb you're getting? I am so tempted to either, like pick a movie that's definitely going to get w- one nomination so that I can invoke my zero my not getting a zero nomination <laughs> if round. If you something with, that has one nomination, you take that and shit. And I know what? what it is, do it. Okay, so I'm going to pick um, a movie that I haven't seen, and I hate doing this, but I mean to see it when I get a chance. The Boy and the Heron. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm so glad I was right. <laughs> yeah, I, could t- <laughs> I was but looking at the list. I was when like, you yeah. said do it, I was like, he knows what you're going to pick. He's totally right. I have not seen this. I am, uh, I'm a Miyazaki, like... Um, I don't want to say fan. I, I appreciate what he's done, but I don't think I've seen enough of it to really like kind of be in the category of like I'm a huge fan of his. Um, and so I didn't go to the theater to see this, but home video, I'm, I'm going to check this out. <laughs> Ryan, what, have you seen it? And do you know what it's 
I haven't seen it yet. But what like, its what deal is? What you're saying to me, uh, what what you just said, uh, if you're anything like me, the reason that you said that is because I'm a huge fan, but I'm not. I haven't seen enough stuff that if I say anything around a super fan. They yes. can, like, call They'll me start out. quizzing you. Yeah, yeah. I, guess and I can't answer the quiz questions. Yeah, because I've seen like four of his movies, and I've seen like Spirited Away. Yeah. a trillion times or whatever. But I just I do feel like when when you talk about him, there's people that like Studio Ghibli so much mm-hmm. that you kind of like I don't know. You want to be like like so, someone who's like I'm an appreciator of the Star Wars movies. Like okay, you, but you're not a super fan, right? No, you know I but I I like it, and I guess I really. <laughs> I really want the one nomination. Yeah. And wouldn't it be so shocking for this not to get nominated? Oh, that'd be baffling. The only downside is it's 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 one and done, right? Like, they're not going to also throw him in for best director, are they? Yeah, no. Yeah. Not. So, like, I'm locking myself in as one pick. It feels pretty sure, but... Dude, you get the one. Yeah. yeah. Get the no, one. yeah, yeah. I Honestly, looking at all of it, I'm not sure that I managed to escape last place. But if I did, <laughs> it might be by one, and it might be this last pick. Right now, it, it like Super Bowl is tied up, you know, and you can throw Hail Mary, and then you're stopping and thinking like, but how do I score two touchdowns? <laughs> no, get the fucking one. Get nomination. the points on the board. All right, McKenna, the goal is one nomination. What are you going with? So I initially had a pick, and then I did a little more research, and it looks like it might have been like pulled by the production company for Oscar nom. So I'm glad I did my research. Good. Um, was it maybe. Porno? It was. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be a porno. Now, now, now we need to know. <laughs> so if you were gonna pick stepsister caught in trying <laughs> dryer, that's don't do it. Come on, this is Mia Khalifa's year for best actress. <laughs> or the. Uh, or McKenna was like, I can't believe this is in the fourth round, but I'm going to take Dune Part 2. Dune Part 2! <laughs> something Dude, I'm excited uh, about. No, so I could tell everyone, because my research might be wrong, and you might know more than me, but I was going to go with The Little Mermaid for original song, but apparently it's pulled. So oh. Well, it's still eligible for awards. No, apparently they're not putting it up for a nom. But, like, I mean, oh, best effects yeah, or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then that made me nervous that maybe, like, they don't even think it's that <laughs> What else will they pull from it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go with Origin. Okay. Which I it might be the safer pick. Might be, you know, my downfall. Um, what one is that again? That is um, director of uh, uh, the 13 documentary and... Um, Ava DuVernay? Ava DuVernay. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, probably got one out of that. Let's go to Mike. What are you going with? Sorry, I was just reading about Origin. That sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> you guys should check out this movie. Uh, I'm going to go one that's, you know what, it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, and I it could be Loudies. It could get visual effects. Maybe it'll get foreign film. But do your damnedest to see it while it's in theaters. Fuck is Godzilla minus no! one. Don't yeah! ask yeah. It makes you scared yeah. of Godzilla again. Oh, and man. it makes you care about human characters, something the American Godzilla movies don't give a fuck about. <laughs> Mike, I've never respected you more. That's a pick that I would have done. Mere, that's a mere Caitlin pick, no. but you made it sound Mike, like a I good one. Mike, I wanted that one so bad. It, I, I almost picked that first round. It was, <laughs> And that, I would have been pissed, and it would have been good. It was oh. splendid. Mike, what is... Uh, what is what does it mean, Godzilla minus one? I, I don't know. They don't tell you that. My theory <laughs> is because it's taking you back to World War II, so it's like origin of Godzilla again. It's like not the first, not the second. It's minus one. Yeah, because you do see not baby Godzilla, but there is a. I don't want to suppose too much. But there's a. You see Godzilla at like twenty feet tall, and you're like, oh shit, this is also terrifying. Oh, they kind of do the Shin Godzilla. Thing. Yeah, and then later you see him as like Godzilla. <laughs> I'm so happy talking about In a lot of ways, that's more terrifying. <laughs> the little one, Iowa, I was, yeah. Like, if you're 30 stories, who gives a shit? Okay. Like, you're you're too I'm afraid of a hurricane. Yeah, no, I get that totally. Yeah, but, yeah, but if he's little, he's like, oh, you're running from me? I know who you are, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you and target you. He's so cranky. Godzilla, chill out. It's okay. Wow. Mike was such a fun pick in the fourth round. I'm proud of him. Caitlin... It's now going to go to you. That's so savage because, Mike, you took the one that I was like, this Pick is Pick another this dark, depressing shit. One. Yeah, I know. I was like, this is going to be my one fun one. It's Godzilla. I love him. My friend. He's big. Caitlin, just take it. I'll give you the number. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if I can't have the big guy, I'll have the small guy, so I'm going to go with Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> also, anchor problems. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you know? and there's a scene where he's 20 feet tall, and he's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> At the beginning of the year, we would say what? 
Ten noms for this. Yes. Easy. Yes. It fell off hardcore. People saw the movie and then they were like, oh, it's actually not that great. But Whoa. you're guaranteed. I think you're going to get one for sure. Costumes. <laughs> Because you got costumes, yep. the production design one, because it's going to be s- super complicated. But I bet, I bet you get one. It's just the it's stark compared to it's no Godzilla. This was like one of the <laughs> movies that people projected ahead to, to think about. Yeah, and I don't know if it's because he said his his cut was it should be four hours. So maybe Is when that Snyder thing or something when the four hour one comes along, maybe it'll be better. I mean, who it, will watch it? It's not, but like it's getting close. Oh, Ridley geez. Scott is getting close to Snyder as far wow. as the whole. No, but Too short? Version. That's what they always say about Demolion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's locking in here. Kayla's on fire tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. I'm back. <laughs> Maybe you should not get a lot of sleep. Always. <laughs> I think this is... <laughs> All right, it's now down to my fourth pick. Guys, I can put up an uh, animated show and guarantee one, or I could just get dumb and fun in here. Um, we all know which way I'm going to go. I'm going to nominate Gran Turismo. <laughs> Heck yeah. The only movie based off of a video game. Wow. Um, it's for sure going to win that category. <laughs> <laughs> Are you totally sure that it's the only movie? It's not the only one. <laughs> Super Mario came out this year. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. Oh, uh, no one took that. And Zone of Interest, based on the video game Zone of Interest. Yep. That's what the I The Holocaust knew. Game of the Year. Are you at all afraid that this movie will wrongly get rejected by the ca- Academy? Me, even though it is a super fun time at the movies, uh, yeah. and it's based on a true story. Best adapted. Best adapted. I don't even think it'll get that. It's adapted it was, from the game, right? It was. It's Gran- adapted from the real event. Yeah, Gran Turismo Academy was a real thing that happened. Um, oh, what? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the guy at the center of it is like a real guy a who real went racer. on to be a yeah. racer, including like a really tragic thing I that happened to him. You didn't know this. Seen as how like you've lived your life towards this. That I could be that guy. That you could you be could like be. that. Whatever it is, you like professional <laughs> pretzel eater or whatever it is. <laughs> All your dreams could come true. This is what that movie is teaching, and I don't know if the Academy will respect it, but I, I respect the hell out of Thank it. Thank you. The Grand, Academy Grand Academy Turismo is a fun movie, fun. and it captures the feel of the game excellently. <laughs> <laughs> you have two cars, Cassie. Vroom, vroom. Good job. Thank you so much. Yeah, Cassie, Cassied. I did it every year. <laughs> got a Cassie. Someone's got to come in last place, and I'm here for it. Ryan, I don't think you it's you. Barbie. Thank it's you, Greg. Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I wish you well with that. <laughs> we have our own battle going on, Greg. Uh, all right, Ryan, what is going to be your final pick? I can't believe you guys left this for me. Mm. It's here. I, okay. So uh, I've got Oppenheimer and Anatomy of a Fall. I'm going to try to get all of the uh, very serious Oscars. And then for all the older people, I've got the magic and wonder of movies. Uh, the color purple is going to take all of like the big time production and songs and music and He's events so and costumes. I, I, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The I love best of event. <laughs> <laughs> and then with my final pick, I'm taking Wonka. Oh my god! Really? really? Costume wow. wow. songs. There's no way. It's one of those Chalamet? secret musicals with Timothy Chalamet. What? Why? What is this getting? <laughs> <laughs> What is this getting? Yeah, what yeah, more nominations than Grand Fucking Turismo, I'll tell okay, you that right granted, now. Granted, but what roles <laughs> will they be? It, 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 it is a secret musical, like a lot of the musicals are coming oh, out, okay. so it's going to get song. Okay. It could get costumes. Could get chocolate. It could get best chocolate <laughs> and best event. Oh, and it's a, it counts as adapted, obviously, yeah. right? Okay, so it feels like that's a good adapted choice. Adapted from candy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Ryan, if you could do me the favor of doing a rundown of everyone. Oh, wow. Everyone? I, I got oh, last wait, place oh, again. Do we not do everyone's? Do you want to let them read them out? Yeah, yeah. let everybody do their own. Okay. No, maybe I, maybe we, I I'm hearing from the – I'm getting feedback, and everybody should be doing Live their notes. own. <laughs> I love that feeling. Ryan, you basically already did yours, but let's go ahead and hear yours one more time. Uh, I've got Oppenheimer, The Color Purple, Anatomy of a Fall, and Wonka. Um, me, guys, I got Barbie, Ferrari, Past Lives, and Gran Turismo. So that sounded like the beginning of a great does. flow. Yeah, I, I got do. Barbie, <laughs> Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Ferrari. <laughs> um, Caitlin? Yep. I got Killers of Flower Moon, Zone of Interest, Society of the Snow, and Napoleon. All Dude, <laughs> that's got a puncher's chance. All Just laughing her ass off oh. of the films. <laughs> All movies I sure loved. No, I'm putting my tips in Caitlin's <laughs> yeah. court. Yeah, Caitlin wins. Yeah. Caitlin's is strong. Um, Mike, can you give me a rundown of yours? Yeah, I have Poor Things, May, December, American Symphony, and Godzilla, minus one. Hell fucking yeah, you do. Mike might come in last. I could see, <laughs> honestly, I could see him getting super screwed on Poor Things, yeah. and if that that doesn't yeah. hold up. Then like, I crumble. Yeah. Definitely. 
We'll see. We'll see, Mike. Um, McKenna, give us your rundown. All right. I've got Spider-Man Across the Universe, American Fiction, Saltburn, and Origin. And Greg, not last place, no zeros. What is yours? Uh, honestly, like, I am not going to win. Uh, I got Holdovers, Maestro, Rustin, and the boy, and, and, the, and the Heron. I'm not going to win. There's no chance I'm going to win. I might beat two different people. <laughs> <laughs> not, and I'm not that's just, a win for Greg. I'm not just saying You're that like to brag. Climbing this ladder. Yeah, I'm not just saying that to brag. I think I came in second last place last time. Yeah. And, and I might do one position better. Oh, and wow. with the last pick in the draft. And with the last pick, yeah. I, I, I did the best I could to, to cobble it together. And if I get a little bit of magic, because I think the holdovers, that's the one I could get screwed on the mm-hmm. most. I could just see it. Um, but Maestro, that one I could go big on. Because it's just, it's about an entertainer. Um, it's a, it's got, hits to a lot of different fields. But I, I, that does not look like a winning hand to me. But in like three years, Ryan, watch your back. Mm-hmm. Greg's coming for you. I'm coming, one at a time, one at a time. Yeah, he's coming. He's climbing. climbing up. He's climbing. Greg, we decided to promote you to double A. Hell yeah. Greg, we decided to promote you to third place. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I did it. Um, all right, so that You're is it. We're going to have to see how it all shakes out later on. Um, thanks for watching the movies. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.